In today's video, we're going to take a look at importing a podcast into your Castos dashboard. Uh, it's a screen that's right inside of your dashboard. Let's go to uh, the dashboard here. I've got no podcast. We'll go to our account uh, drop down, click on imports, and then click on import a new podcast. This is what you'll see if you're a brand new customer as well. If you had just started a Castos trial, you'll have the option to create a brand new podcast from scratch, import a podcast like we're about to do today, or connect up your WordPress website. So a few things have changed on the importer, and I just like to show you around so you can learn and see what to expect when you import your podcast. So we have a search field here. We can either search for our podcast or put in a uh, RSS feed. And what I'm going to do is copy an RSS feed uh, from as from one of my other podcasts as a sample. So I'm going to paste it in and uh, it's going to just say, hey, this is a valid RSS feed. If it wasn't a valid RSS feed, it would give you a little warning that said this is not a valid RSS feed. Check with your hosting provider or are you sure you're copying and pasting a valid uh, podcast feed? Now, if you don't know where your feed is, you can also just start typing the name of your show. So I'm going to do that. Start typing that in. We'll search the index and then give you the results that we found uh, that we think best uh, best match. So if you see yours right on the list, which I do right here, the very first one, I'll click on that. You can quickly identify it because it's going to have your cover art. It's going to tell you how many podcasts and, of course, how many episodes you have and, of course, the title of the podcast. Then once I click on it, it says, yes, this is a valid feed. So what we're doing is first and foremost is checking, hey, is this a valid feed? If this is not a valid feed, we can't get all the information that we need to pull your episodes and your information into Castos, okay? So the first thing is we check for a valid feed and you can see right here that it is. We'll click on next. Now, depending on where you host your podcast and what they do for security protection, um, in this case, I'm actually transferring from Castos to Castos because that's you know just par for the course here. Um, it's gonna say that it's locked. So we protect um, our podcast, uh, hosting accounts by locking episodes so that people can't just take them and bring them to another host, right? So somebody can't just take your, your whole entire library of your podcast and then bring it to Castos or some other podcast hosting provider. Now you might be in that same situation and I'm going to show you right here in Castos um, under the distribution tab and the danger zone, we have the podcast 2.0 stuff for locking and unlocking your feed. So on your podcast host, if you're moving away from another podcast host and coming to Castos, look for the locked section if you see the screen in your podcast hosting provider. Um, you can click on this how to unlock and we'll bring you to the documentation on how to do that. So I'm going to check off unlock and then hit save and get this window out of the way. Now I'll hit retry. And it should summarize our podcast, which it does right here. It says 13 episodes, gives me the title and the description. You too should see this uh, successful screen uh, once you unlock your podcast. And then a little last sort of step here is to check this off and say, yes, this is my podcast. I have the right to do this, right? So you're not bringing in or pirating somebody else's podcast when you're starting an account um, at Castos, okay? So now we'll hit next. A little bit of confetti and of course now the import has started and in the back end of castos it's starting to search all the through the whole feed get all the information get the podcast episodes the titles the description all of that stuff and we're bringing it and downloading it right into the castos system you can see the progress bar uh progress as uh, there is a successful import i'm going to click on details that'll bring us to the importer screen this is where we started. You can see it's still in progress, 89% um, done. It should be done in a second here. We can expand this. It's just a great sort of bird's eye view and health check of your import. Now it's all green. Everything's good to go. It's been completed. If it was a very large podcast and you had hundreds, if not thousands of episodes, it might still be in progress. Um, you can go and check the in progress screen here. Maybe you're importing multiple shows at once uh, from a podcast network. You can check the progress of all of your shows. Um, everything that was completed will be listed here. If there were any errors or any failed, uh, respectively, they'd be in these screens as well. Let's go back to the podcast um, dashboard. A little, a little warning message here uh, at the bottom of the screen. Uh, it says redirect old feed. This is just a little notice to say, hey, you're going to need to redirect your old feed into Castos. Let's click into my podcast and you'll see it. Same thing right here. It says redirect from old host. Uh, in order to switch to Castos for hosting, you'll need to redirect your RSS feed. Copy your Castos RSS feed and paste it into your old host settings for the redirect. So I'm going to pull my screen back up 
um, so that we can see that in Castos, we have this little field here that says for the RSS feed. So what you'd want to do on your old host is copy your new feed. I can grab it right here and then bring it into my host and paste it right there. Now, the idea, I'm not going to do that <laughs> but because uh, I don't want to redirect, but the idea is on your old host, you need to say, hey, my new my podcast new home, it's over here at Castos. Here's the Castos RSS feed because all of your subscribers are uh, downloading asynchronously. So they don't immediately know that you've moved your podcast host to Castos. When they go to download your next episode, so the next episode you launch here at Castos, you say, hey, I got a new episode out, make sure everybody goes to download it, or they see it appear in their uh, podcast app, uh, or their podcast app goes to download it automatically, it's gonna say, oh, let me check the old host. Oh no, the old host says it's over here at Castos now. Now I'm gonna go and get it because you set up that forward. And the idea is you leave that in place um, well, some depends on where you're hosting, right? So some podcast hosting companies will uh, only leave it up for as long as you pay for the monthly hosting. Sometimes other hosts have a just a redirect fee, uh, a smaller fee that you can just leave up and just leave up indefinitely. But you don't need to leave it up for eternity. It really depends on how you know big your audience is, how active they are. Generally, like 30 to 60 days is a good sort of bellwether to say, hey, look, I've given my most active listeners enough time to download this. If somebody downloads this in 62 days, well, they probably weren't really a dedicated podcast listener because um, you want to get that refresh of that redirect. Chances are if they really wanted to um, get access to your show, if they still had your old RSS feed in their app, there'd be a warning that says, hey, we can't connect with this anymore. Um, and they're going to say, wait, I, I want to go find Matt's podcast. They'll go to your website. They'll get the new RSS feed from Castos and all as well. But once you get everything set up um, and uh, redirected from your old host, you can click on verify, redirect. Little warning message up there says, hey, your original feed isn't redirected yet. We'll check it to see if it's, if it's valid. Um, and once it's valid, this little error message will, or warning message will go away. Right. And that's everything with the new importer here at Castos, trying to make it as easy as possible from being able to paste in your RSS feed to searching for your podcast in uh, the import directory, making sure that you can lock it and unlock it or validate that it's locked or unlocked, and then import everything nice and easy with all of the messages that you need to see to make sure that you get a nice healthy import into Castos, really easy here, castos.com. If you're looking to get your podcast started, go to castos.com. If you're looking to import your podcast from another podcast host, that's as easy as that. You can just run right through our importer and get stuff right into Castos. Have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want more. We'll see you at Castos.